everyone it's lisa and uh, you know it's going to be an easy recipe when i'm doing it because i only do the easy ones now so this is the morphe richards saute and soup maker we're not using the saute function today we're only going to use the soup function so if you've got any soup maker it should work the same way so today we're doing the chicken and vegetable soup as it says in the title so this is the easy one though um we've got some chicken breast this has already been cooked we actually bought a cooked chicken in tesco that was reduced and i've just taken all the breast meat off um so that's what we're going to use today but that's about two to three good sized chicken breast fillets well yeah roughly um i've got a big courgette that is going to go in just to add a bit of speed food into it some more speed food i've got here about three fairly decent sized carrots these are some of the ugly carrots that were in tesco's you know they're perfectly imperfect ones I've got a small onion. As you can see, I'm not bothering to chop it because the machine does all that for me. I've got a red pepper and there's also a tomato in there. Um, I've got some garden peas, as you can see. And then I've got our lovely jars of ginger paste and garlic paste. And the only other thing I'm going to add is a uh, Maggie chicken stock pot. Now I'm gonna tell you something about these. This is what it looks like. These are the Maggie ones. These are free on plan, okay? But if you can't buy those and you're tempted to buy a Schwartz one, this is the Schwartz <clears throat> Flavor Shots Spanish, Spanish Smoked Paprika Chicken. You might think to yourself, well, it probably looks about the same. It's got a few herbs and as you can see, this was reduced when we bought it, but it's got some herbs in it and maybe that'll be all right. This Maggie one is free. This Schwartz one, is 16 and a half sins 16 and a half sins so just be really aware of that when you're looking at different options um because this you would think is probably very similar to this and they're not anyhow that's what i'm putting in and then some water so this is dead simple this soup maker is possibly the best thing that we've ever bought i absolutely love it so you just take off the lid and bung everything in it's that simple so i'm just putting in the chicken and because the chicken's pre-cooked i don't have to worry about sauteing it the courgette there's a lot of courgette in there there's the peas bung the other vegetables in as well so it's going to be a very very full recipe um and already as you can see the the fill line is about there and we're pretty much at the maximum now so i'm going to take the the peppers and the um, tomatoes in there and then obviously i need to add the so as you can see i didn't quite put all the carrots in but that's fine the dogs like carrots you like carrots don't you girls yes yes they do um so i'm just putting in the maggie chicken stock but just typical typical on camera it doesn't want to leave the thing so we just pop that in with a teaspoon there we go Put that in there to be recycled and then i'm just going to add um a, a, about a teaspoon of the minced garlic paste so this is just garlic there's no oil in it so a teaspoon of that because we like the garlic and i'm just going to put a little bit of the ginger paste in as well so probably half a teaspoon of that as you can see put that in as well um and then all i'm going to do now is just take it up to that maximum line with some water there's quite a lot of water goes in there you go and then just pop the oh oh yeah so as you can see there's a lot of there's a lot of raw vegetables in there so i'm going to take some of the carrot out because the carrot is quite chunky in this one um so there we go take some of the carrot out mine never my fingers it's only me and rufus eating it and then oh it doesn't want to <laughs> does not want to connect there we go just about so it's actually believe it or not it's just just on the maximum line um, and then with this one we want a chunky soup so we press the chunky option and then we just hopefully turn it on that timer comes up it says 28 minutes so in 28 minutes time well, the soup will be done um, as you can see I really did go a bit overboard with the carrots but um you know waste not girls so you want some carrots that's what you're begging for now isn't it because mummy made mummy cut up too many here we are then so wait one second 
Let's show the lovely people on YouTube what we can do. Ruby, you poor. Good girl, Ruby. Sit down, you two. There you go, Ruby, bit of carrot for you. Luna, sit down. Give poor. Give poor. Good girl. Luna's learnt this yesterday. Give poor. No, I didn't say stand up. I said give poor. Good girl. There you are. Then there's your piece of carrot. But bless her, Alvy. Alvy still doesn't quite get it. Alvy. Alvy. Come here then. Are you going to sit? So you do the sit. Give poor. Give poor. No, you don't quite work that out, do you? But there's a piece of carrot for you, a big piece of carrot. And then, I love it when the girls think these are treats. This is so good. Healthy, healthy, healthy dog treats. Ruby, give poor. Good girl. There you go. There you go. See, waste not one. It has just beeped. As you can see, the red lights are running down on the top. So I'll show you what it, it smells amazing. But because I've put it on chunky, it didn't want to, um, it didn't want to blend it at all. So if you go to blend mode there and then press that it will just blend it up as we said with this um, with this oh see look at that instantly look at that that looks much better as a soup doesn't it so I'm just going to give it another quick little blast on the blend so down to blend mode. We don't want it too fine because we want it quite chunky. Just not as chunky as it was. So I've just finished blending it. So it's a nice, quite a thick consistency now. Um, so I'm just putting it into these plastic uh, soup tubs. There's probably enough there for another couple of those as well. So we are going to take one to a friend of ours um, who we're seeing a little bit later. But there you go. I've got to say it smells absolutely delicious. And oh, do you know what? It, oh, it's a bit hot. Oh, it's very hot, in fact, um, as in heat, not as in um, spice. But that is actually a really nice soup. So there you go. That is my very easy chicken and vegetable if it's soup. If we've got it, we'll have it. So there you go. That's all there is to it. Thanks very much for watching. We'll see you on the next video. Please do give this a like, a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And as I say, we'll see you again very soon. And as we always say on this channel, happy slimming.